Hey everyone, welcome back to Borderlands, episode 45. I was in the store and I found this shotgun. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. We're gonna take it. <laughs> 92 times 7. And ours is about 65 times 7. I did the math on my phone. It's, uh, let's see. I think it was 444 to 644, I think. So, uh, that's a pretty big boost. Shield, uh, we could buy this. Should we buy the shield? Huh. So fire shield does about 60 more damage, but I lose about 10. Um, could be worth it. Oh, shoot, hold on, what was that? Oh, 50, okay. Nothing too good. Alright, how about grenade mod wise? Nothing good. Hmm, I think I am gonna take this shield actually. A little slow recharge, but it's got more capacity. So, I think we'll grab that. Wasted all the money we got already. And sold all the one back. For a nice six grand. And we got that shotgun. Can't wait for that one. Eh? Well, this one didn't last too long. Waited for it. And now it lasted what? Let's see. One. I can't get the other one until I'm what? 28? That one's 28. And we are at 26 right now. So yeah, this one lasted like three levels. Okay. So we got Burn the Scriptures at the Bandit chapels. I didn't know bandits worship things, besides like other bandits. We got Talk to Chuck. That's another arena. We got Scavenger Shotgun, and we got Journals. Um, let's start with Scavenger Shotgun, I think. Because I like scavenging for shotgun parts, you know. Journals are saved for last, because they suck. I hate journals. Oh wow, Witch Fiend in the place. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gary. I see you appreciate me very much. By glitching me and everything that you see. Oh, Spider Ant dead. The chapels, that's not an easy one. We'll probably hit that one up next, but you know how much I hate the journal ones. Everyone that plays this game probably hates all the journal missions possible. Oh, this is, this is great. Look at me, just hanging up here. Just chilling. Look at this. I'm not even. My car's floating right now. Pretty much. It's stuck on the ground, and it can't move anywhere. I'm just stuck. Alright, so, we know what you gotta do. The good old cleaver. Just fall down, car. There we go. Boom. Give it the cleaver, and that's what we do. That's what happens when things don't trust me. I try to, you know, take the cleaver. When we're running over to 27, by the time we hand this mission in, we'll probably be at 27, which means one more level and we got that awesome shotgun. So the shotgun's body should be right over... over somewhere. We'll look around for it in a second. First, we're going to lower that draw bridge. You'll also lower some spider ants in the picture. But that's okay, because it doesn't really matter about them right now. Any shields? Nope. Okay, let's see. Up here, there should be some somewhere around here. Health. Uh, let's see, what do we... What do we got ammo-wise? Not even ammo-wise, just stuff-wise. Dying. Spider hands. Yeah, that one's dead. This one's still pretty good shock of that. I'll give it that. For the time it lasted, it was very well to me. And it's not over yet, though. Good time to still it out. Still about until level 28 when better times go. That's how I think of it. Good times when better times. Where's his last spider at? Oh, it's over there. Okay, we'll kill him. If we can. Yes, good times. I don't need to know every 5 seconds how much time is left. I can tell him we're going to know. Let's see, I think there's one up here. Maybe. This is the magazine. Okay, I'm trying to. Take him in order this time, because I didn't do him in order last time. So I'm trying to do it in order this time. So the first one, maybe it's up here? Let's see, what's this? That's a stock. Okay. How about the body? The body should be somewhere out here. There's the barrel. Sure, throw the body the furthest away. Yeah. The first one you're supposed to get is all the way over here. Great. Alright, then the magazine is all the way back to the first place that we saw it, which is right over here, up top, top on these little barrels, just gotta climb them up, or boxes, whatever you want to call them, whatever is your little personal preference, if Brick could jump, come on Brick, get up there, there we go, there's the magazine, 
stock is right over here next to these little shelving. More boxes. Probably these boxes just stack all over the place. You stack these boxes. And then uh the barrel. I guess the bandits just made a little camp over here, stock stacks of boxes, fancy gates. Or maybe it was something more important. Maybe, maybe not. We'll know eventually. Maybe. Maybe we'll know. Or we just won't care to find out. Either or works. So now we just gotta go drive it on back to the bounty board. With another easy scavenger mission done. I like these scavenger missions. They're nice and easy. They seem to go kinda quick. You can find most of the parts real easy. I missed the exit, but you can go around this way too. You can just go up here, and here's the bounty board area. The hub, as I call it. The hubs of hubs. The hub and pubs. There's a mailbox up in the middle of nowhere where it has mail. And in the mailbox is shotgun shells. That's what I like to see. So we got a shotgun, and it does 50 times 7. Not as good as mine, but... I don't know, it's still a decent shotgun. Next up, we're going to go burn the scriptures at the chapels. So to do that, first we're going to sell that shot. Oh, crap. <laughs> Didn't need to shoot. Sell that, and... yeah. Oh, we didn't rank up. Damn. I guess we'll rank up next mission. So now to burn these scriptures, they're pretty easy to do. You just gotta go back, get your car stuck. Yep, that's exactly what you gotta do. Go back, over here. Got to follow the diamond brick road, get caught on more crap. And yeah, the band is just like little chapels. You just gotta go press a button outside of them, and yeah, then they'll just roast. Roast on fire. Roast to all. And you all good night. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, what mission am I gonna do next? We can go try the arena, I guess. Yeah, what the hell, we'll go try the arena. Actually, no, we won't. That I'm not gonna do yet. I'm gonna do all the crawl missions first. I think we'll, we'll go journal hunting after this, oh boy. <laughs> journal hunting, my favorite. Oh, get stuck on more rocks. So yeah, as you can see, just press the little square button outside the scripture. Outside the scripture on the chapel, my bad, outside the chapel, you hit that button, you kill the bandit, hit that button and the whole thing just burns the ground, right, I thought they were to switch, but they haven't yet, I'm so bright, so now we go this way, go around, and now I'm gonna go burn some more of the bandit's hopes and dreams, yay, my favorite thing to do, burning bandit's hopes and dreams, yep, how this game now, what a smart game, Knows how much I want to burn bandit hopes and dreams. I mean, like, look at these chapels, and they just have giant sunflowers outside of them. And yeah, and a gear in the middle. Just burn them. We're not even burning the chapter, we're just burning the book. Alright, so we burned the, we burned their Bible. Okay. Sure. We're just burning their Bible. It doesn't mean that you still can't go in the building. They'd probably have to get a new Bible if they could find one, but yeah. It's not like they can't go in the building, and the building's not on fire, we're just burning the Bible. So this game supports burning Bibles. I don't know about that one at the end. I don't know if I'd want to go, go around burning Bibles, okay? It's a little, it's a little odd. There's a secret mission here I'll show you. Let's see if we get this. I can't do it yet. I'll show you where it's at. Just because I know a lot of people miss this one, and the achievements are getting the missions in the game, complete all the missions in the rest commons. Uh, I probably would have got the one complete in Doll Headlands when I beat the Doll Headlands, but the rest commons, they include East and West. So this mission right here, I can't do it yet, because I don't have it, but uh, go up to this guy, can't talk to him right now, he's got the handprint on him. But once you can get into that town up there, I forget what that's called, but once you get into that town, Come and talk to him and he'll have a mission for you. Most people have seen to miss that one. So, uh, that's one I'd look out for. And if you missed, well, I missed it the first time too. I didn't know about it till like, my second playthrough when I saw it online. And I was like, oh, I didn't do that mission before. So then I did it and got the trophy for doing all the missions in the area. And I just did that. The rest of them, there's not really too many hidden besides him and Marcus missions. Some people probably missed those. So, go here, level up. And now we're gonna sell the shield. Because we can, because we don't need it. And yeah, now we're gonna put our next skill point in. in the truck. So now that's two. And now I'm gonna go journal hunting. My favorite. The last journals. 
from Tannis. So now we'll go journal hunting. So this video is probably going to be a little longer because the journal hunt. So now you get to see me drive more. Yay, driving fails. Fun times for all. All for one, one for all. As I would always say. Where's this first journal at? Tannis? Where are we going? There's spider ants yelling at us. That's cool. So it's up there. Great. We're well, supposed to go under the bridge. See, so this drawbridge is blocked by claptrap and he won't want us past yet because he says we don't have clearance, which we don't, I guess, yet. First journal. They would have got a little hidden with these, I guess. It's around here under box. Nicely hidden. Here's Tannis. I just ate six bugs in alphabetical order, starting with Carabas Aronitis and ending with a dessert of Tetris Natalata. The information that I've uncovered from my automated deciphering has me closing in on the location of this event. An event, I believe, in the opening of the vault. Echo Recorder and I are not together anymore. But I wish him the best, and we remain friends, so that I can keep recording these messages. He agrees, because we need to complete what we set out to do, and document the intensive search for the mythic vault. It's not a mess. Oh no, she's not with Echo Recorder anymore. Um, okay. You, uh, so you dated an Echo Recorder. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have to say any more than that. Where's the freaking log at? Am I droop? Am I over it? I don't know if it's behind a jet mushroom. Sometimes I wish I had never been given this assignment. I never come to Pandora. Dahl has asked me to leave. The transmission said it's time to go. Everyone has left, except the criminals who they've let loose. They won't be my friends. So I had decided to return to leave as Dahl has ordered. But then I found something. I think it's the key to the vault. It proves the vault is real. And it's here on Pandora and I can mine. I also learned that, by my calculations, we are near the 200th anniversary of the last vault opening. Within half a year, approximately. If I leave now, I will never make it back. Spider ass interrupting me as I'm collecting ammo. Jerks. Jerking on in here. I don't like that, Spider ass. I don't appreciate that. Get yeah, spin in your circle. Kick your butts. Butts are falling off. Scared of You don't hit me when I'm collecting my ammo, Spider ass. Jerks. All of are dead. That's what I want to hear. Alright, yeah, oh my god. Wow, I should have stayed out because there's the thing. Alright. Guess clock. I know there's a minute remaining. So I either get interrupted by my timer, or I get interrupted by not knowing what time it is. So I guess I'll take interruptions by timer. They're getting a little classy with these. Here's Tanner. Day 653. Today is my birthday. I've been alone for an incalculable amount of time. A convict crossed over into my encampment this morning, and I allowed him to look about before I shot him in the back several times. I was immediately filled with regret upon doing this, because the human contact, no matter how awkward, would have been nice. I've decided his name was Leslie, and he had a troubled childhood where people would make fun of him for having a girl's name. And the torment eventually led Leslie to a life of crime and debauch. There was a tattoo on his bum that looked not unlike the name Patricia. Might have imagined. The experience compelled me to move the vault key fragment I found for them. Wait, it's extremely important, so I've given it to the man known as Crazy Earl. He's not crazy. He doesn't like people. The vault key will be safe with him. Alright, so she gave it to Crazy Earl, and she's crazy for shooting the guy in the back and then deciding his name was Leslie. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say there. Here's another recording. all of the information I need to be able to find the vault. I'm overcome with terror and instantaneous paralyzation upon any attempt to leave my confines. I believe I have some kind of psychosis. Whatever it is, I'm a prisoner of my own jail, and I will not be able to find anything without help from an outside party. I will put out feelings to see if I can get someone on this rock to grant me assistance. Perhaps I can send an off-world message to attract some vault hunters. Alright, so that's how we must have got that message. Well, here is the last one. Day 718. I woke up outside. 
inside the camp today. I don't know how I got outside, but I seem to have overcome my inability to leave. This will be my last recording before I scatter the echo recordings as far as I can. My echo recorder has clearly gone crazy, and if I'm not careful, I too might go insane. I will come back and resume my research when I have rid myself of this two-timing recorder. This is... Oh yeah, she hasn't, she hasn't gone insane yet. No, no, she hasn't gone insane yet. Of course not. Yay, private personal, yeah. Unfortunately, we had to read them. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.